Welcome to another health management lecture by Sungbok Shu. Congratulations. By deciding to begin your own health management program, you've taken the first step to a new and better you. The lecture you are about to hear will astound you. Sungbok Shu arrived in America in 1961 to further her education. Earning two master's degrees in library science, Mrs. Shu became a librarian at the university level. In poor health herself, this determined librarian used her skills to extensively research subjects on health restoration, including health foods and nutritional aids. Mrs. Shu furthered her studies at seminars and personal consultations with nationally respected health authorities. From these results, she developed her health management program, consisting of internal cleansing and proper food combining. Today, thousands of persons following her program credit her personally with their improved health. Sungbok Shu has long been heralded as the ginseng lady of Ohio. Please replay this tape several times over to understand the surprisingly simple solutions to how you can also succeed in overcoming your personal distress. The lecture you are about to hear was taped on Friday, February 5th, 1993. Here now is Sungbok Shu speaking about the human body tune-up. Thank you for coming. Tonight's lecture is entitled Human Body Tune-Up of you have not heard such a term, human body tune-up. You heard about all kinds of tune-ups, automobile, automobile tune-ups, lawnmower tune-ups, whatever, everything we use, we have to take care of it. Even a toaster, after a while, you have to shake it, you have to clean it, otherwise things will start burning. So our human body is the same just the same as any of the machinery that we use. Anything you use, you accumulate things that should not be there. We brush our teeth because after a while, if you don't brush your teeth, even three days, your food will not taste good. And your instrument, the teeth and the tongue, will begin to decay. So we have to take care of things. We eat food, and then uh, we need to brush our teeth, same token, the same food that we chew, that leaves things behind, goes through your esophagus, and goes through your stomach, goes through your small intestine, goes through your large intestine. For some like a mysterious way. We feel we need to brush our teeth, but we don't, because there is a magical way that mechanism will self-clean, <coughs> like a self-cleaning oven, right? Self-clean. And yet, this is what phenomena is, to be observed is, you eat fresh things. Nobody in this country knowingly go to a grocery store and buy anything slightly, even not fresh. We really are careful to choose very fresh things only. Yet, it goes through your body, and then by the time it comes out of the body, what do we find? It's very different from what we put it in. In your folder, let's look at this human digestive system anatomy chart. Many of you have looked at this in your lifetime. But as a simple logic, as I just uh, described it, we put it in fresh. Look at this. We go through the stomach, we know that, and uh, 22 feet of small intestine, 
and then continues on to five feet of large intestine. <coughs> then, by the time food particles reach to the end of large intestine, and we eliminate. That is entirely different than what you put it in. Where did it become so different? Just like I mentioned, in your mouth already, things will begin to decay. Otherwise, why would your mouth need to be brushed? Already begun to decay, gradually goes through. Unlike our imagination, we don't have magical, any kind of disinfecting gadget inside of our body. And it, as it goes through 98.6 degrees of body temperature inside, it gradually decays, more and more decays. Most of us have experienced food poisoning, stomach flu, heartburns, sourness, burping, burping up. That is not going to go away automatically by itself. <coughs> Yet it has to go through another 22 feet of digestive system, which is small intestine. Not only that, have to continue on to five feet of large intestine. No wonder we eliminate, then it is very, very putrid. Everybody else in this country have it. What's so wrong about that? It's almost like everybody else is robbing the bank nowadays and using drugs. What's wrong with it? Now and then we can rob a bank and we can use some drugs. Right is right and wrong is wrong, no matter how many of people are doing or not doing. Right is right, wrong is wrong. We have abdominal area, we never again hardly ever think about of that 22 feet plus 5 feet, 27 feet of pipeline is congested in large area. That's not true. Tall people have longer legs. Our abdominal area is not much different from tall people to short people approximately this size. And 27 feet of pipeline is coiled up in it. Imagine, 27 feet of pipeline is coiled up in it. Used to be, it didn't matter what kind of consistency of, see, of food you ate, whether the food had a lot of fiber or not. It used to be not mattered. But today, a lot of people say high fiber, high fiber. We are beginning to recognize 27 feet of pipeline really need some help to progress. If it doesn't progress fast enough in 98.6 degrees, with all food you eat, mix, get mixed together, and then digestive juices flow and get mixed together. Milk and cheese get in there together, souring and curdling, and the cheese will bind you, binding in portion of our intestine. No wonder. By the time it comes out, it's putrid. Let's uh, stretch our imagination. What comes out? in from our body, let's say we want to experiment what happened to my tissue, because inside I cannot see. Let's imagine I catch it and hold it, walk around it for one week, for one week. Wash it. Our hands would be very, very irritated if not or toner. That's how caustic we keep our inside. No wonder today, how many people do you know if you are not yourself suffering with ulcers, hemorrhoids, polyps growing, 
and uh, 